Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Greek Lover, but we got Serbia exiled in Corfu because last time they were completely stamped out. With the Serbian army suffering a major defeat and being forced out of their homeland, they approached our government with a request to allow them to retreat to our territory and continue the fight from there. Allied troops and the Serbs already installed a base on the island, and the Hellenic government is not willing to oppose this. Just like that. Shouldn't they relocate? So now we've lost Kerf. He's a veteran radical. Nice. He's a political swimmer. Oh, they got a black hand too, huh? Wartime coalition. Exiled. But they get more legitimacy, which is not bad, but still. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of hanging out here. I wanted to read that one with you as we're appointing new party members, as we read last time. So if you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. I do want more political power. I think that would be great. Mm, planes? Oh, like I said... Not super, super important. I would like to fight the Bulgarian zone, but, I mean, we gotta wait for that. You know, with a national schism, it's gonna take some time to get there. We already read through these. We're gonna focus on heavy industrialization. We're gonna support the Greek farmer, though. The Hellenic farmers will receive the full support of the government, favorable taxation re regulations, and subsidiaries, uh, or subsidies, should do just a trick to stimulate our agricultural exports. We'll become the breadbasket of the Balkans. Develop textile industries. By investing in our limited textile industry, we'll increase our output of cloth, which is in high demand domestically and abroad. A strong textile industry is the backbone of many Western nations after all, and fund the University of Athens. Founded in 1837 by King Otto I, the University of Athens is the main center for higher education in Hellas. By funding the expansion of the university, we can greatly improve the facilities and simultaneously boost our international prestige, change in route. They had given to the powers of the agreement caused the dissatisfaction of King Constantine I, being a German file and thus wanting Greek neutrality in the Great War. As a result, Prime Minister Venizelos was forced to step down with the king now assuming full power. The Antel will be disappointed. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, we get the national schism here now, too. Look at that. Well, Schneikies. National mobilization. War economy. The Bulgarians have brazenly broken the peace once again by invading. Oh, God. Dang it. Um, our ally, Serbia. Must honor the Greco Serbian alliance in 1913 and begin mobilization against Bul Bulgarian menace. Organize a Venezuelist rally in Athens. And I'd still like to integrate them, but we can't do that. Oh god. Well, there goes our commanders, I guess. Dafor, huh? I hope we can hold out against these guys. Mm, so there's that. Minorities. Mer uh, foreign equipment purchase. Promises of peace. You know, things like that. Ah, so here we have the national balance. So we go here, get more daily democracy support. Lose political power, get more, way more uh, daily democracy support. But you get more war support and lose stability. Hmm. Look at this guy. He's a German file. And then we have uh, Constantine the first. So if you go with this guy, you get more political power, stability. Lose a lot of war support, get more authoritarianism. Interesting. Very interesting. The National Schism. Uh, rally public support, pro Venezuelist movement in Athens. Interesting. As well, force new elections, too. The king does not approve of Venezuelos, a pro Entente foreign policy. It's evident that in order for Hellas to join the Entente, Venezuelos must call upon the people's support to overrule Constantine's increasingly authoritarian actions. New elections will be forced through to secure the Liberal Party's position and to reaffirm the approval of the mm -hmm. new elections. Venezuelos' resignation caused political dissension in Greece. A political battle between the Conservatives and Venezuelos' supporters forced a general election in June of 15. The newly returned Prime Minister forced the King to promise him that Greece would honor its alliance with Serbia Bulgaria attacked. Venezuelos stated that his win was proof that the Greek people agreed with his pro Antan policy. Pro Antan Venezuelos wins the elections, thank God. Because that got rid of a lot of our advisors here, god dang it. Like, our infantry guy, that was terrible. This guy, terrible. Ugh. Also, we're going to invite allied forces in Thessaloniki, so. And then we'll form a new government. Should be great. We could rally public support. Ooh. Local Venezuela's support established Macedonia front. Oh, so there's no, no description here. Uh, no description here either, but hey, we have what we have. It's fine, go ahead and do that too. Also, we are trying to import some more artillery, I think. Oh, support equipment, my bad. It is support equipment. So. But we're looking okay. We need trucks next. Before, especially before the war really begins. 
for us. But it's 1915, so we'll see what happens, you know. There you go, thank you. And we did, we did have some coffee here. But now I've replaced it with a monster, because I have, don't get enough sleep at night, and I need more caffeine in my body. So here, here, eventually we'll lose more political power, which we're already losing. We only have 0.51, the natural schism. Since the ousting of Prime Minister of Venezuela, many rallies have taken place in all new northern Greek territories. The local populations there are mainly supporting Venezuelos, and its position to join the Entente while the inhabitants of old Greece wish to remain neutral, under an anti-war sentiment and have gathered around Constantine. The tensions led to an increasingly important split of not only Greek politics, but the population as well. It's getting worse. Oh, god dang it. Good lord. Oh, good lord. That is really bad. Oh, we had a French military mission too? Oh. God, I love caffeine. Also, we did buy. We are buying another Iowa class ship from the US. We are 50%. Very good. And seek social support. Well, we got the new elections. And for small Shalom in Thessaloniki. Hey, Kaplan's growth speed goes up. Actually, we won't probably want to do that pretty quickly. So let's go to this one next. And we can do this one as well. So that'll be good. God, I, I did remember there was some sort of turmoil in Greece. Not, not a ton, but there was like... Well, I guess maybe this is a little bit. Um, negative feelings here in Greece. There you go. So we'll have enough trucks for the current time. But... Hmm. Just because of oh, national mobilization. We were supposed to go to war economy, but then it just it would drop down to partial mobilization, which is still not bad. But still. And we gotta make sure Russia or the Central Powers do not do too well, which they haven't really advanced too much. Actually, if anything, they've lost uh, Bruges um, to the Anton again. And the Russians are holding okay. The Russians have not really had a decisive breakthrough yet. The Russians are pushing into Austria Hungary a little bit. Uh, Romania is still here hanging out. These guys are still hanging out here. We're forming a new government, we're establishing the Macedonia Front, which would be great, which is going to really piss people all off, but that's alright. Um, trucks would be good to get, yeah. We need that one delivery, man. And we do have enough convoys for now, we only have 53, but still. The Persian government, Jeu Marie, has capitulated. Hey! Wow. Persia, you're looking really ugly there, but, oh my god. Okay, so these guys have pushed really hard through here. I might have to balance this out a little bit more off screen just because this is a bit too much too fast. Um, because historically they didn't get that far that fast. I don't think they even got this historically that far, anyways. Interesting. Hmm. So we need more trucks, huh? I'm sure there's a faster way for me to look for trucks, armored vehicles, infantry, but. Armored cars? Planes? Recon planes at the very least. Early armored cars, artillery... I don't see any trucks. Artillery, support equipment... Well, I guess we have no trucks. Interesting. Because we need more trucks. Artillery's not bad. Huh. That's American-made weapons. I'm sure we could use the support equipment. Go ahead, since uh, we'll join him anyways in the war. And a polar is martial law, which would be great. Of course, we do have trucks over here as well. We get 75 trucks, which is not bad. But I just want to make sure that we are ready for the war uh, whenever it does begin, of course. More defense, more breakthrough. Uh, I'm going to grab this one. No. I don't know. Beware the tank, uh-oh. Germans are still pushing into Poland. Solonika. Oh, another radical change took place around across the Balkans. The French plan to land their armored division to Thessaloniki, Greece, which is still neutral in tides of war to support Serbian warfare and set the pressure on the Austro-Hungarian monarchy and the start of Bulgaria. The landing went smoothly, without interference from the central powers of the local Greeks. The Hellenic government seems to be an ardor to avoid a war that is spreading their territories, taking no action against the Entente. However, pro Entente statesmen in Greece seem to be seeking this chance to use as an opportunity to lead the country to stand on an allied side and declare war against Germany. How can they ignore the Greek neutrality? Oh, we actually just gave it to them? Constantine intervenes. 
Oh god, despite the fact that there have been recent elections, Con King Constantine I still does not accept the Prime Minister of Venezuela's a pro-Anton position. The invitation to the Allies by Venezuela and Ray to King. The dispute between the Greek Prime Minister and the King reached its height shortly after, and the King invoked the Greek constitutional right that gave the monarch the right to dismiss the government. In September of 1915, Constantine forced Venezuela to resign for a second time after an anti-German speech of the latter in the parliament and dissolved the liberal-dominated parliament calling a new election in a speech. Venezuela warned that a German victory would be a disaster for Greece. Venezuela warned that in the event of a German victory, then the Ottomans would wage genocide against the Greeks of Anatolia, while allowing the Bulgarians to annex Serbia and Macedonia, who would inevitably be followed up by the demands for Greek and Macedonia. Oh god. Holy crap. What are we doing here? Nike, Nike, Nikes. Um, that would be nice. That'd be nice too. How much do we have of support equipment? We have a decent amount. I wouldn't mind adding the guys on. Yeah. Oh, battalion modifier. All our infantry and motorized tech. Because I want that trickle back too, just in case. I wouldn't mind some recon. Now we're really out of stuff. Trucks and support equipment. That's pretty normal though. Ooh. Breakthrough production cost? Yeah. Where we're headed, we definitely need a lot of that breakthrough. Oh, we need rally public support next, so. Local Venezuelists support, yes. Yeah, this one done will be good to help accelerate growth speeds. French soldiers find ancient statue. During excavations for digging treasures on the island. French soldiers found a beautiful ancient Greek marble statue in the Palaeopolis area. The wings on his shoulders and the posture of his body refer to the statue of Eros, holding a bow in both hands. Very close to the place where the statue was found is the village of Contopoli. As inhabitants believe that in the Palaeopolis, there was an important site or city, ancient city of Hephaestia, which had been lost centuries ago. Thus, the name of the area in recent years was not accidental. What an interesting discovery. Our position kind of sucks right now. Fall of Warsaw. Well, that seems pretty historical. We'll work out the new elections. And then we'll seek social support, probably too. What a giant freaking mess, you know. Ah, look at this. Another pre dreadnought. Well, these guys are doing okay now. I mean, they're losing to the Entente still, but they're doing better here. The Russians are doing worse here. Across the entire front, it looks like, yeah. And the French are still holding on, literally. These, nothing's literally moved. Oh, never mind. They actually took a piece of Elsa Slothram again. Look at that. Should the 1916 Olympic Games be cancelled? Yeah, maybe. Interesting. I can't believe they took away our factories and whatnot. God dang it. Come on. Yay. Book up the new elections. Support local Venezuela's support. So the national schism moves one percent towards the side. That's ultimate. One percent is that really all we get? One percent? Howitzers? We don't have any houses on guys. I would like some anti-tank though, because we are going to need that probably. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Nice. Alright, so these guys are still fighting over here. They've not really moved anywhere at all too much. They're lucky this is a two-tile province. Uh, we need trucks and support equipment some more. So, anyone have any support equipment? America! I love America. There you go. Do we have any trucks we could buy, maybe? No one believes in trucks. Good to know. Spanish? Uh... Well, I guess we can't. Darn it. I just want us to be prepared for the war, like I said. So we'll do that. We'll seek social support. Um, I don't remember what is historical here. We'll probably organize a Venezuelist rally in Athens, because we're not going to go down this socialist route, unfortunately, for y'all, this campaign. So, I know some of you want it, but I think we'll go organize this one. Daily balance of power change. Daily democracy support goes up. Nice. Very good. Keep training for now, guys. I know you don't have enough equipment yet, but still. Oh, there goes a great ching. Goodbye, great ching. Working on it, working on it, working on it. 
And it's almost 1916 already. Can you believe it? Wow. We got the new elections. Seek a little bit of social support. Yes, please. Investment schemes. Don't really care to purchase foreign warships. I mean, we could. Oh, actually, we just buy equipment. 150 is a lot, but still. It's a lot of artillery. It's not bad. I don't mind support equipment. 225 units. I and mean, we could use it. Or we'll use it for something else here. Oh, never mind. Gas is too high. Yeah, we're not even going to bother with this. Oh, we got these guys, though. Ooh. Pit sauce? Industrial research speed. Production efficiency growth, 15%. Infrastructure and railway, though. Eh. This is okay. This is what we had originally. This is not bad, either. I'm going to go pit sauce. Better electronics research speed, which is okay. But better consumer goods factors. That might give us one more to work with. That'd be great. Because right now we're buying support equipment. Seriously, does no one believe in trucks? No one believes in trucks, god dang it. German air raid in Thessaloniki. The people of Thessaloniki are overwhelmed with fear as they were well, uh, woken to enormous German Zeppelin bombarding the French positions. This airship was also previously bombarded uh, Daugavibus and Minsk in Russia. The Zeppelin was brought down by British and, air, uh, British and French anti-air, landing in the Vardar River. Later on, some parts of the fallen Zeppelin has been brought to Thessaloniki as a form of attraction for the locals. At least no one was hurt. Yeah, it must have been terrifying seeing that. I'm like, oh my god, what's in the air? So we're now at zero percent, which is not great. Nice. Oh, it must have been in total then. Pro Venezuelist, Venezuelist movement in Athens. Rally. Organize a committee of national defense. Can lead a civil war. Compromise on limited neutrality. Well, this one. Using Venezuela's support in Greece. Constantine the first will try to gather national support as well. Oh, good. Happy 1916, everybody. What do we have for, for compliance? Only 72%, huh? That's not very good. 42% is pretty bad, too. Guns are good. Support equipment is looking better. We just don't believe in trucks, apparently. Form the state of Thessaloniki. Organize a Venice rally in Thessaloniki. Form a state. Well, we're just gonna sit in here and see what happens. How's the war going for everybody? The Turks are really losing it here. Actually, they push back the, uh, the UK quite a bit. They're losing to the Russians a little bit still. The Russians are definitely losing to the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians. And they've reclaimed Alsace, part of Alsace for rain, but other than that, not much has really happened. It's almost like a stationary front for some reason. Motorize the army. Limited motorized, motorized transportation. Communication and logistics are slowly being integrated into the armies of the great powers. We must ensure that we do not fall behind them. Motorized equipment will be purchased from the great powers in order to modernize their army. France expanded the Macedonian front. Oh, we had to wait for France? Well, we're going to motorize their army then, in the meantime. What am I buying another ship? Maybe. Oh, what is this? Oh, we get this one, yeah. Yeah, why not? That'd be nice. Can I send you an attaché instead, maybe? Oh, we can't. Oh, we need the political power for this. Oh, whoops. Well, you know what? We'll get the political power so we can start doing that too. Because it seems like, uh, well, maybe not Italy. Maybe the French? Maybe the French would be the best. Because Italy is still fighting a little bit here, but still not, not that much. Brusilla off offensive. Oh god. Well, I don't know about the Bruce Seeloff offensive. But okay. Fortify the border. Uh, we will not repeat the mistakes of 19, uh, 1897. Uh, this time our border will be properly fortified and able to repel any any enemy counterattack. Materials and equipment are already being transported to Thessaly to reinforce the limited pre-existing fortifications. But after we do this one, because I've been waiting for that other military factory for a long time now, so... Here, thank you. Oh, we can do Russia. Oh, but then there's, uh, you know, we'll do the French. Oh, we can't. Oh, we need two more political power. Easter Rising. 
There you go. I would be surprised if they would not accept. Oh god, they're attacking. No, France, please don't. Stupid, please, please. I'm oh, getting attacked too. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is going up. We get 15% of their XP, so. French Republic is giving us 60% of the experience, which is nice. And we get some more air XP too, probably. Not bad. Ah, oh, Ottoman Empire issued diplomatic protests. Go kill yourself, Ottomans. At least in this campaign. Send them to the slaughter. Oh god, the Russia's really not doing well here. Which is balancing how, how they're doing it over here, because Baghdad is a frontline city. Must be really hot fighting down there. It's May, and then it's like pretty decent in Riga, I'd assume. Could be wrong. You know, you never know. 1916. Uh, construction speed, just please. Surrender of Fort Rupel. With the French violating our neutrality, the Germans have decided to take this chance and made the demands for concessions. Today, German Bulgarian forces have occupied Fort Rupel near the Bulgarian border and surrounder, surrendered without a fight. After the third and fourth corps of the Greek army, orders from the general staff of the army not to offer resistance. Oh crap! Let's get that one done finally. Um, social legislature. Uh, that'll be nice. We're going to do this one next. Focus on heavy industrialization. Toad artillery. Something. Yeah, I like that one. Hey, it's going, getting up. Support the movement in, in Athens? Yeah, why not? Nice. Even though we have no subs, but whatever. We need more trucks again. But what else is new? Hey, look at that. The May Oh. Oh, God. But it's only made in 1916. Come on, guys, do something here. We don't have a lot of population. Oh, are you all separated or something here? I do that instead. It's fine. For now. There you go. Spread yourselves out a little bit more. Makes it look a little nicer, you know? Oh, I'm going to do this one too. And then develop textiles industries. I read this earlier, so there you go. Hey, we're actually making trucks. French ultimatum. After the surrender of Fort Rupel in eastern Macedonia, General Sarail has imposed martial law in Thessaloniki, and on June, an Anglo French ultimatum considering themselves protector powers of the Greek side, or the Greek state, really, since its establishment in 1832, uh, has been submitted to us demanding the dismissal of Zymus, new elections, and demobilization of the military. France wants to extend its front in the Balkans and force us with to withdraw all troops. From the north of our territory. If we don't obey, they will declare war on us. Another mark of superb French friendliness. A town will start in the balance of power category. They go to war with us. What would they even do? Bruh. Do they take it over too? I want to get up to the front line and defend it if we need to. Bruh. Trucks, please. Hey, we got enough support equipment for now. Hey, America finally has trucks, thank god. Yay, I love America. 51%, not bad. We need another Venice. Support here thing though. Oh god, it's only day focus. Oh, what about kitchen now? Oh wait. Oh, we these are uncompleted now. God dang it. Organized Committee of National Defense. Yeah. Ah, this is gonna be the Civil War. Yeah. Hey, good political power here though. That'll be good. Let's get this thing done, of course. Uh, all formation. Well, the festification of the national schism and the demobilization of the Greek army, a powerful pro-royalist group is formed in opposition to the Venizelists, the Panhellenic Association of Reservists, as a militarist uh, movement led by Ionis Metaxas, whose main objective is a fight against the liberal bourgeoisie and external interventions. Oh no. 
Oh, who needed stability? And Romania is running on top. There you go. Opened up in the front. That's good. Good for them. Ooh, the Ottomans have lost Jerusalem now. So now all this is going to be screwing them up, hopefully. I have flooding into Bulgaria, too. Ooh, anti-tank would be nice, but we gotta wait. Are we making any anti-tank? No, we're not. We should probably make some anti-tank. And Romania's gonna need to get smacked down really hard. It doesn't help that they're not fighting Serbia at the same time, though. St. Louis, Uh Planes would be nice. Yeah, Bucharest is going to fall, probably. France about to see their ships. The French are trying to seize four of our destroyers to reinforce their fleet powers. No. They, these are our ships. Thank you for the army XP, but still. Even though you're not even doing anything right now. Surfos Minor Strike in July 24th, 1916. The workers, motivated by anarcho syndicalist Constantino Separas, uh, formed a union called the Work Union of Working Men and Miners of Serapos. Separas became the first president. The union's uh, statutory tax, signed by 460 members, demanded the reduce of the working day to eight hours, increases in the wages and safety measures. Today, the workers refused to load the mining production to the ship that was carried away until their demands were satisfied. What should we do? Send the police to crush it? Wait it out. In order to preserve the neutrality as King Constantine wishes, our government has chosen to yield territorial demands by Bul of Bulgaria by handing over East Macedonia to them. What the heck? Broskis. You just let them have it. Broskis. Bruh. I don't like this king now. Monarchists can be cool. Oh, you just gave up that talent? Oh my god, why did we give this to the Entente? How incredibly stupid are you? This is why I never trust the French. You better hold out here. We gave you everything we had. Yeah, form the state of Thessaloniki. Organize the Venezuelist rally in Thessaloniki. Yeah, we're gonna need to. Famines. A number of the largest cities of the country, food shortages arose. A weak civilian economy can't withstand with the pressure. Famine began in the countryside. Oh god, are you kidding me? Bruh. We're not even at war and we have famine. Bro, don't lose it. Oh my god, seriously. Bullshit. Oh, and there goes the Russians. Did that really happen in 1916? I thought it was 1917. Now they're going to have to peace out and fight them. As long as France doesn't fall, that'd be good. Oh my god, they're sneaking through here. Eh, we have no stability, what do you expect? Oh, form the Saloniki state. Got the popular support. Oh, it's going to influence? Oh my god. Well then. Uh, I'm gonna save. It looks like we have to balance things out a little bit. I'm gonna make sure the Ottomans don't completely fall apart yet. Just yet. A Greek civil war. Due to the intense political situation in Greece between the Venizelos faction, led by Venizelos, and the Royalist faction, led by King Constantine, both of them bared arms and declared an open conflict against each other. The Venizelos faction aims to formally enter the Entente to territorially expand Greece, while the Royalist faction wants is more friendly towards the central powers, but claims to want strict neutrality. The civil conflict will undoubtedly claim thousands of lives and will scar the Greek nation for many years to come. What is going on? We're in a war. So, uh, hey, let's get Thessalonica back. Um, but we're trying to land here and we're going to try to do okay. Uh, sure, guys, we'll take whatever we got. Because God knows we're poor. Sure, why not? 
But at least we got rid of him. Thank God this guy's back. Jesus Christ. He just go in immediately. I'll protect our shipping and whatnot around here. Oh, God dang it, they found us. Alright. Oh, God, this is not good. I don't think this is very historical, but we just purchased scout planes. Reconnaissance aircraft have risen in prominence in recent years due to being able to provide valuable information on any positions, movements, and composition. The French are willing to sell us Newport 4th Reconnaissance monoplanes in order for us to fix our own recon division. Normalized foreign relations. Relations with the Great Powers of Europe have been icy after the Gaudi Revolt of 1909, which many believe the military league in opposition to their interests. With Venezuelos now at the helm, we can assure them that Hellas is committed to stability in the Balkans and that their continued support is in everyone's best interests. How are we supposed to do anything here? Because the uh, French are doing eh. But, like, we're like eh. Because they're attacking us and we're attacking them. Interesting. We might have to navally invade. Yeah. It's fine. God damn it. I need you to hold. Okay, if they want to leave anyways, that's fine with me, but sure, why not? Where's a good place to attack? Athens itself? I'm pretty sure they'd have a lot of guys there. Cancel Lunlease, unfortunately. Normalizing for relations. If this doesn't go well, I'm just going to use cons commands because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Adopt Venizelism. The term Venezuelism has only recently been coined in a Hellenic political scene. The ideology melds Hellenic nationalism with liberal economics, with part of the leader Venezuelos being the namesake. Modernization and enlargement of the third Hellenic civilization is the ultimate goal of the ideology. Come on. Can we only invade with two people? That would really suck. We do have four research slots, which is pretty good, though. Finally. Get more organization first. Cause my god, you're gonna need it, son. And go ahead and see what you can do. Hope they can land down and around. But there ain't no guarantee. God dang it, yeah. Bruh. How are we supposed to invade? Oh, yeah, I'm going to use comms commands here, probably. This is incredibly stupid. Uh, embrace the Megali idea. The idea of a greater Hellenic state is not a novel concept, but an old one inspired by history and culture, being bolstered by the Hellenic population living under the foreign yoke that awaits their liberation. The Megali idea will be the centerpiece of Venezuela's national vision for Hellas. Come on, I just wanted to join the Great War. Keep these guys in place, don't let them move. Come on. We're so close to being there. And boom, okay, there you go, thank god. You guys are just gonna hold there. And the rest of you all do this. Oh, okay then. We're gonna completely abandon the area here. About move down, maybe a little bit, yes, yes. Go expand primary education. The expansion of primary education is critical for our efforts to reach the standards of the Western great powers. Hellas will reap the rewards of a literate and educated populace, and in turn utilize it to ascend to the rightful place in Europe. Not bad. I need you to finish off here fast. Support weapons are nice. Uh, I guess we can research marines, I suppose. Just 
Come on. You're here to, to keep these guys in place. How about here? Let's push them out. I guess five convoys. That's good. Um... Come on. Obviously, it's not very historical. Um, and how is everything else looking? The Germans are doing very well against them, which is not good for us. When is America going to get involved? Like, bro. Like, bro. There we go. So go destroy, kill them all off. Daily gain. Oh, we have no one here. Oh, we need this guy. Then shot. Oh well. Uh, what? No, we're good. No, we're still pretty good. I need this done now. Come on. Hurry up and force it. Ludendorff expensive. Social legislature. Hey, this is one of the poorest nations in Europe with our system's living standards being some of the worst in the Western Hemisphere. If we're to provide a better life for people, certain social benefits need to be guaranteed in order to help them climb out of poverty and misery. Thank God, Jesus Christ, it took forever. Alright, so with that in mind, uh, we gotta make sure Paris doesn't fall. Yeah, I'm gonna do some funky stuff here, because this is not looking good for any of us here. Alright, so we had the Civil War. We finished it. We have the government of uh, national defense. Um, rule of law? Sure. So, now what? Constantine sells rally. How do we how do we get this area? Reinforce administration. That sounds like a good idea, but um, I'll be honest. This seems very bugged because this is uh, focus is completed once the Thessaloniki state is formed. Um, because once we, if we click on that, we go straight to war with everybody else. Has annexed three royal estates. Doesn't spirit. So this is bugged at the point of this recording. Um. Claim it, Second Hellenic Republic. Where's British aid? Where's French aid? Uh. So I love how this is all bugged. Because as soon as we click on this, our nation will literally be split in half. So if you see this, give it a day, it cuts our country in two. Again, I don't understand this. It makes literally no sense. Because here's us, we're in political power. We can still do everything we need to here. And now we get all this stuff here. But we immediately go to war. Unlock decisions along government of national defense to annex Greek neighboring states. Cracked on, like, like why? Like this makes literally no sense. Why do we why do we lose this half? It doesn't make any sense here. So I hate how this is bugged. I mean, the, the creator of this of the Greek content has been fantastic thus far, but this is heavily bugged. It seems like because this shouldn't be happening, should it? We already did the civil war. We literally waited until the civil war was completely over. Um. And then we immediately go to war as well, which makes sense, I guess, technically, because we are technically a, are we a puppet of the Entente? No, we're not, actually. So, I mean, and I don't know why we're still split in half after we win the Civil War, which makes literally no sense. But I'm going to, like I said, do some funky stuff, do some cons commands. We'll do all this stuff, too, because we're going to need to. And I'll see what uh, this does as well, which would be kind of cool. But I might go back in the past and redo some of this stuff, because some of this just doesn't make any sense at all. So, I hate how this has ended up. We're probably going to go down with the Proclaim of Second Hellenic Republic route. And request French economic aid and purge anti venezuelists But hey, I think I got it in there because I'm not sure what the heck else I can do. So if you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Oh wow. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll try to continue fixing this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.